Hi all, we're looking at my Space Battleship Yamato theme build. Now this build has been three years in the making, finally completed with the Tier 6 Resident Luxury Cruiser release. So this is one of the two only ships in Star Trek Online that look remotely like an ocean vessel. The other of course being the Tier 5 version. So we're going to look at the ship itself, the equipment I put on her, make as many references to the show itself as possible, and finally, Tier Ground Patrol. <laughs> so here I have the Delta Flyer, which represents the Cosmo Zero fighter. Now, I wish the ship had a hangar bay for the fighters, but I can live without them. So let's start! The triple barreled positron shock cannons are represented by the twin phaser beam arrays, which allow for broad sighting and they look like twin barreled ship cannons when fired. While I would have preferred twin barreled beams, this is the closest I can get. Plus, there are many battleships in history that have twin barreled cannons, such as the Bismarck. You can get these from the K-13 fleet holding, or the Tier 1 TOS Constitution. The torpedoes and missiles, uh, which look pretty much the same in the show, are represented by the Rapid Fire Missile Launcher from the Lobi Store, and the Kentari Mass-Produced Missile Launcher from the episode Mirrors and Smoke in the New Frontiers arc. The anti-aircraft um, batteries are the point defense system from the Thunderchild Heavy Escort refit, which can be found at the Ship Requisition Officer for the Lithium or the Sea Store if you've purchased it prior to these ships being sold via the Lithium. Finally, of course, we cannot forget about the Wave Motion Gun which is the enhanced weaponized mycelial emitter from the Imperial Rift set. There's also the full exotic particle generators three-piece set, because the Yamato does use a bit of space magic, especially in later seasons. As for the rest of the equipment, it's just to enhance phaser damage. And we won't go too much into detail for those, as, as this is a theme build, not a DPS build. So, of course, aside from the ship itself, we have to get the crew to look right. So, uh, while my captain is not human, clearly, uh, we I did put the Vice Admiral code on here to represent what uh, Captain Okida and the rest of the Yamato captains wore, so a big long black coat. And also for the weapons and for the entire crew, I have the Mirror Universe dual pistols, which the long barrel makes it look very much like the ones that uh, the crew used in the show. As for the uniforms for the crew, it's the Kelvin Timeline um, Admiral uniform, Admiral dress uniform, with mixes of um, the Kittimer Alliance uniform. So here we have science, navigation, tactical, engineering, engineering again. Here we have operations, science, engineering, tactical, security, security again. Um, accounting and logistics, medical, and science. Alright, so the ship itself. I'm using the upgrade materials uh, for this battleship gray look and the Ryzen 3 pattern for the red bottom. So we, um, the nice thing about the tier 6 is a tall bridge and it's a prominent feature of the Yamato so we can have the first and second bridge and um, there's also the keel, which we'll say is the third bridge. There's also the atrium, which we'll use to represent uh, the crew lounge on the Yamato. Okay, so let's go on patrol to um, Elite Argala. So this ship can handle Elite um, difficulty, although um, it can survive, but the damage it can put out is just okay. So <laughs> just for demonstration purposes... Let's do it. Oh, 
Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> the engines um, on the Yamato are fiery, so I'm using the Omega Force Hyper Impulse engines for that. And you'll see that as I demonstrate this in combat. Alright, let's go. There it is. Off goes the missiles. Oh, we got a bit of rubber banding here. <laughs> Alright, now that we... That we uh, now that we have a better um, view, let's launch the AA guns. So, I suppose they're okay. <laughs> Not exactly as uh, cinematic and uh, <laughs> epic as seen in the show, but that's alright. <laughs> So do tell me in the comment section below if you think these look cool <laughs> for what I'm using to represent the various weapons of the Yamato. Of course we know that uh, the Yamato's pilots, various pilots throughout all the three incarnations are rather uh, risk taking so yes I did put the uh, pilot specialization on this ship. All right. You have entered an area. Looks like our fight. All right. Also, the ship itself doesn't have very, you know, it has the generic starship grid, so not much point visiting that. All right. Let's launch the wave motion gun. If I can aim this correctly. <laughs> Oh, not a good time. <laughs> that rubber banding took my aim way off, but let's try to hit this one. Okay, yeah, we totally missed. We'll try again <laughs> later. <laughs> I don't know, I just started having internet problems recently, and hopefully it will look better for future videos, but yeah, this is what I have to deal with right now. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, there goes the rubber banding again, and we got an SNR. Great! There we go. <laughs> Not again, come on, come on! There. Oh, this is awkward. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs>
Alright, one more minute until the wave motion gun will be charged, and then we'll do it again. <laughs> the internet is not treating me very well right now, is it? Very sorry for this. Oh, there we go. The wave motion is recharged. Okay, let's aim this one. Or at least attempt to aim. Oh, it's coming right at me. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Big boom. Come on. Well, no, we're gonna miss. Oh, we hit. Nice. Oh, 193,000. Nice. Alright, I think that's enough. <laughs> let's get out of here. Alright, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Helps out the channel quite a lot and it's free, so why not? You can also contribute to my Patreon if you want to, link in the description, where you will also find membership and my Discord server where you can speak to fans and myself directly. Alright, see you all next time. Bye!